Hi, this is Vincent Tapound with Esprit, and today we'll be talking about the latest changes with Machine Tool Builder. So when you click on Edit Custom Data, before we used to have a very difficult UI to work with, and what we've done is gone ahead and updated it. So now you have something sleeker, a little bit more fresh, and it's simple to work with. Also, you can see we've broken it down into tabs, so it's much more logical to see the different groupings. Now most of the work has been done under the custom settings section. So we have new functionality here and we've added the buttons at the top. We have add a new setting, copy a setting, delete a setting, save all settings to a file, and load settings from a file. If I click add a new setting, it'll add the setting as such. You can modify these values here and they'll update everything accordingly. We can also copy a setting. So if I copy move from tool change you can see it puts in the same group. Also you can see in the verifier since we copied a setting one of the values there, the CL code, is a duplication. So we'll have to change this in order for the verifier to say that this file is acceptable. We can also delete a setting. So this new one that we created, let's go ahead and delete it we can save all these settings to a file so let's do that I'll just save this file here and we can also load the settings from a file so if I go into this 3-axis file here you see I don't have many settings if I go ahead and load the custom settings file that we saved before you can see that it populates the settings there. Another feature that we've added is the ability to move settings around. So let's say this primary rotary axis I want to move it down, I can do so by clicking these up and down arrows. I want to move it up, I can do so as well. You can also move the categories around. And lastly you can move the tabs around as well. And those are the latest updates with Machine Tool Builder. Thank you.